What are you expecting from your first away game, and what do you think of the Premier League so far? But tomorrow, tomorrow I'll wait a, a, a good game, a good game for my players. We know that tomorrow is not uh, an easy game uh, because Watford is a, a solid team with good players, with the two uh, strikers, very strong, that play together very well. We must pay attention, we must pay a lot of attention because tomorrow um, is a dangerous game for us. And in this moment, I think that uh, we have to send the right uh, message. Uh, we need uh, of the right message uh, for the confident, for uh, for the work, uh, for the training session. Uh, yeah. Um, for this reason, uh, it's important to face uh, this game with the right intensity, with the, the right concentration, uh, uh, very focused. Uh, uh. I wait this. I wait this for tomorrow. We love the passion you showed on the touchline, the way you celebrated that winning goal. Will you do the same if Chelsea score at Watford in front of the away fans? <laughs> yeah. But I'm a passionate man and uh, I'm, I'm this. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same uh, when uh, I was manager uh, and I started uh, this new career uh, when I was. Uh, uh, the US coach, national team coach uh, during the Euro and uh, I'm not a different man, I'm the same. I live uh, the game with great passion during the game with my players because uh, uh, yeah, I, I play with them and uh, I want to, uh, to feel this, uh, my players. And also sometimes when um, when you score uh, an important goal, when you win, uh, and uh, yeah, you can celebrate. Uh, um, I'm uh, a, passion, a passionate man, and for this reason, uh, um, I'm not able to keep my emotion. And <laughs> yeah, and uh, I know that uh, is uh, is strange, but uh, I'm this. Have the Chelsea fans? told you how much they enjoyed the fact that you celebrated with some of them when the goal went in and that you went on the pitch at the end and, and congratulated all the players personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made a, a lot of congratulations for, for the players because I, I think that against the West Ham we, we played a good game with a good intensity, great concentration. Um, we wanted to win. Uh, there was a great will to win, and uh, this I liked a lot. Um, I think that we uh, we have to maintain this mentality, this want to this uh, this want to 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 win, this will, this will to win. It's important uh, to 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 continue for for a good season. Diego Costa showed great desire and wanting to win with that, that late goal. Some say he could have been sent off for the challenge on the keeper. Uh, personally, I think he was entitled to go for it, but he plays, we would use an expression saying, on the edge. Do you have to speak to him to make sure that he is careful? Or do you like him <laughs> to play exactly the way he does? Yeah, but uh, we all uh, know uh, Diego. And Diego is uh, uh, a passionate uh, footballer, and uh, yeah, uh, sometimes uh, uh, can uh, can seems no that he's uh, always on the edge uh, in, uh, when when he, he plays. But I think uh, that Diego is a, a good a good guy, he's a good player, and uh, he put uh, his passion in the football when uh, when he plays. Uh, yeah, also, uh, if uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for for his uh, attitude, for his uh, for his behavior. Yes, if 
I hope, I hope to continue so, but uh, we know that uh, you must pay attention in, uh, in on, on all situations because sometimes when uh, uh, many many people, uh, uh, many players uh, talk about one player and uh, it's very difficult for the player to play uh, with relax, no? Because you know that uh, you stay, you always stay at the center of the, the tension. But uh, he must play uh, his football. He must pay attention in all situation. Uh, and, uh, but we are happy for uh, for his uh, attitude. How would you describe your relationship with Watford manager Walter Mazzoni? Yeah, I I saw I saw him uh, in the meeting and the meeting coach, and uh, also with with Ranieri. Yeah, I spoke with him about this uh, new experience. And this is a great uh, challenge uh, also for him. And um, yeah, I, I saw him uh, very focused about this experience. When we were in um, in uh, Italy Championship and uh, we fight, uh, uh, we fought for uh, for the title. Uh, Juventus against Naples. Yeah, but. When uh, when you stay uh, uh, when you stay up, no, when you stay and you fought, uh, you are fighting uh, for the title. Uh, yeah, e e everyone uh, thinks uh, for for his club, but the relationship, the relationship uh, is uh, very normal. I have great great respect for for him for his work. I think that he's a good manager. Yeah, and um, you will shake his hand tomorrow. Yeah, no, no problem. But I, I repeat, I saw him uh, uh, during the meeting with the other coaches, and uh, we spoke with him with uh, uh, the assistant coach. Uh, yeah. Can I just ask you? Um, transfer window is still open. Uh, you are being linked with several players. Um, Khalidou Koulibaly of Napoli. Um, is there anything you can say about him or Eduardo, the, the goalkeeper from Dinamo Zagreb? Yeah, it's very difficult to 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 speak about uh, the transfer policy uh, before the game. Uh, before the game, for me, usual uh, is difficult to to speak with the press about. Uh, uh, Argument uh, that uh, I face with uh, with the club, no, and it's important to speak about the the, the, the players uh, uh, with uh, uh, with the club in the right moment before the game. It's very difficult to to speak uh, about this uh, speech, but uh, yeah, uh, I repeat, uh, uh, we are waiting the the right solution to to improve Chelsea and. Uh, do you expect to sign a player or two before the window shuts? Yeah, but I think that we need we need uh, to sign uh, some players uh, because uh, uh, there are uh, uh, now few players uh, in uh, 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 in the uh, with the defender. No, we have few players and uh, yeah, but. We are working together, me, the club, to, to find the right solution. Okay, we'll go, Jonathan, then uh, Simon, please. Antonio, obviously, the transfer market is difficult, you've said at the moment. If you don't manage to get any players in, are you happy that the squad of players you've got now is good enough to win, to challenge to win the league or win the league? I, I think that uh, now is very difficult to... Uh, to put uh, a real target uh, for the uh, for the squad because uh, uh, yeah we starting a new season after a bad season and uh, uh, if you uh, look the the starter eleven uh, or the squad of the last year is the same and uh, if. Um, we have to uh, to think with the number uh, it's very difficult
Will this, will this successful season be just finishing in the top four? Or are you thinking higher than yeah, but I, I think that uh, a great team uh, like Chelsea uh, must fight uh, for uh, um, yeah for, for the title uh, until the end of the season. But uh, this story of the club uh, it's important to respect this story. But uh, we know also that uh, um, we arrive uh, with uh, a season not so not so well not so good. And uh, yeah, we are we are working very hard uh, to improve the situation. Now, I, mu I must be honest, we are working to improve. But if you ask me, uh, the real target uh, uh, of this squad now is very difficult to explain. And uh, we need to pass uh, uh, more time and to have uh, yeah um, answer game by game. What did you make of your first Premier League game? Did anything surprise you about it? For my first... Uh, yeah, the, the kind of whole experience. Of yeah, fantastic. The pace of the game yeah, fantastic. Is it different to what you've experienced? Yeah. Mm, these, are, these are a different experience. This is a new challenge, a new chapter for me. And uh, a new country with... Uh, different habit, uh, different uh, atmosphere uh, and uh, it's fantastic to, to, to discover this situation uh, and uh, I'm very happy, I'm very happy uh, also for, uh, for, for the fans, uh, the welcome uh, for, for me, it was fantastic. I hope to repay them with the player, with a great, uh, with a, with a great season. Nick spoke about Diego Costa and the, the passion he's got. You've spoken of the passion you've got. You seem very similar individuals. Do you think you're almost the perfect manager to get the best out of a, a character like him? Sure, we are uh, both passionate. <laughs> this, this is sure. And uh, uh, yeah, I. I I risked in uh, in my past uh, sometimes to 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 be banned, no? Mm -hmm. To be banned, yes. And uh, uh, yeah, but can you share your past experiences with him and say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah, but <laughs> I have to say calm before to me <laughs> and then uh, of, of the players. But uh, uh, I repeat, uh, I think that uh, when uh, you show. The passion for the football uh, is fantastic because, uh, uh, yeah, um, the football is passion. It's passion, and uh, if you have uh, this, uh, every day you can work very well. Sorry, mm -hmm. Antonio, has anyone ever tried to get you to calm down in terms of your celebrations? Has anyone asked you to tone it down? <laughs> Club or family? Yeah, yeah. Uh, your, your celebrations for a goal, has anybody said to you, come? Come? Yeah. No, no, because uh, I repeat, um, uh, the people, uh, the people uh, know me and uh, also my, my family and uh, also my players, yeah, too. And uh, in uh, in Chelsea, they are starting now to to know me about this uh, uh, this part of of me. And uh, yeah, but I, I repeat, I think that uh, when uh, you prepare the game, uh, when you work a lot, uh, when uh, you uh, you put in your work uh, a lot of your time. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, you work very hard. I think that uh, sometimes it's good to to show your passion. Can you give us any updates on whether Juan Cuadrado or Loic Remy are about to leave on loan? Mm, I repeat mm, about this uh, about the transfer policy. Uh, uh, it's right to to speak with. Uh, with the club, with the club, and uh, 
I have uh, a contact every day, and uh, I repeat, we must find, uh, we must uh, uh, search to find uh, the right solution for the market uh, to to buy and to sell. Can you just say then why Quadrado was not in the squad on Monday, given that you fought so hard to bring him back from Juventus? And for, for Quadrado, we are waiting. We are waiting uh, the, the situation uh, because the situation. Uh, yeah, must 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 become uh, uh, more clear about uh, his uh, his position. Now is a uh, uh, Chelsea's player, and uh, yeah, today he had the training uh, uh, with uh, with us. Stefano, you have one or no? Hi, Antonio. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what is the main difference uh, between uh, you and uh, Walter Mazzari on the pitch, uh, naturally? Mm. But uh, I think that uh, every every manager uh, um, as a, an only idea of football, and uh, for this uh, for this reason, I think that uh, every manager is uh, different uh, um, for each other, no? And uh, but not uh, not only uh, me Mazzari, but me and the other Mazzari and the other is very different uh, the situation because every coach bring uh, his idea of football and uh, he, I, I think that he, it's right so, it's right so because uh, uh, I study for my own idea and the other manager has study for uh, their own idea. Have you got any injuries or um, ahead of the weekend or just wanted to battle? No, at, at the moment uh, the players are in a good fit at the moment. <laughs>